our first dinner party warriors, Leanne, an executive director, and Brian, an engineer, are an adventurous pair. This, I've never ever, this would be eggplant before. Eggity, eggity, ooh, ah, ah. Okay, you're qualified. And they love to dive into uncharted territory in the kitchen. <laughs> We actually have known each other for 20 years. Um, we were scuba diving together for the first 10 of those years because um, we both teach. Yeah. Just snack, just snack. Well, between the two of us, if we can get somebody talking and out of their shell. We are the personality defibrillator kits. Ooh. And we're going to win this thing even if we serve mac and cheese. Because we're that good. Next up, our mother-daughter duo, Christine and Satsuko, who work for the family sports business and share a serious passion for dinner parties. Every dinner party has to have a concept. We should try to have something memorable. So I'm thinking of not serving the vegetables on a two-tier thing for your echelot. We spend way too much time together. Yes. Uh, poor kid. We're very competitive. Yes. By nature. Mm. And so it's a I'm poor, a sore poor loser. loser. <laughs> really bad. And we're here to win. And lastly, Jewelry maker Dominic and graphic designer Rudy are lifelong friends and old world cucinata. We met probably at the age of what, about uh, 18, 19, somewhere yeah, around there. It's been a long time. Been good friends ever since. We've had our bouts. I've won most of them. A Little bit more love. One thing that annoys me, every time I'm bending over to put something in the fridge, he's always rubbing his butt against me. Like, well, what, what the hell? I'm married, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can cook good, simple food. And there's nothing dull about this dinner party. These couples will meet for the first time when they host each other over the course of three competitive dinners. They get $350 to spend and three hours to deliver. Only one couple can win, and that's up to our judges. Order up. This is Corbin Tomaszewski, executive chef and kitchen supremo at Shishi Holt Renfrew Cafe. He'll be judging the couples on menu selection food presentation, and of course, taste. And this is Anthea Turner, the UK's perfect housewife, top-selling author, and our ultimate party hostess. She'll be judging the dinner parties on style, etiquette, and entertainment. They'll view each saucy detail using robot cameras. At stake, $1,000 of kitchen goodies, and the grand honor to be named Dinner Party War Champions. Day one. Dinner party won, and our judges arrive to inspect the first battleground at Leanne and Brian's. Their Thai-inspired menu starts with appetizers of crudités and sesame dip, fried vegetables, and a Balinese soup. A main of Szechuan chicken with Kung Pao sauce, fragrant chicken curry, sesame and vegetable noodles and peanut sauce, and steamed fragrant rice. And finally, for dessert, lemon mango fool. Fabulous. So you're widely travelled, you love all foods. Mm -hmm. This is a, a dinner party of passion. That's right, sense of adventure. We're cooking a totally Thai menu, and we've only done that once before, so... Oh my goodness, goodness me! Well, brave or mad? Yeah, we'll find out. But it's not all Thai food. This is, this is all Thai food. Szechuan chicken is Thai? But it does fall into my ultimate Thai cookbook. Oh, so. the ultimate Thai Yes, a fusion. That's right. Fusion. You've got a, an open sort of thingy ma do yes. with stuff that should be in cupboards because none of that is an ornament and all no. of those can be just in a cupboard somewhere and we don't have to look at them. What wines are you serving? Ah, the magic question. Mm. Uh, leaning towards whites but open to suggestions. What I would suggest is you have something that's really spicy, you have it with a sweet wine. It cuts down on the heat. All right then. Our judges leave Leanne and Brian to tie one on, but is their menu all in Greek? This dinner party is just all about the food, isn't it? Yes, but it starts when you have the right type of cuisine. This is not Thai food. There was a recipe with spaghetti noodles. I don't understand that. I think that came from the UK. No, apparently, no, it did not. While the hosts prep, the robot cameras are set to record the dinner table action. And then it's private access only with the confessional cam, where the evening scenes are truly revealed. The judges are also prepped to catch all the angles of the dinner party adventure. Okay, where Watch do it. I step in? Sauce. Sauce? Nothing burning. I'm not even sure where we are on any of them. Ugh. With 30 minutes to zero hour, those untried Thai recipes are putting Leanne into foobar territory. With four main dishes each only half prepared, her pace needs to pick up. I haven't changed, and we still have soup cooking and kung pao to cook. A game. Gotta bring the A game. Cooking should be therapeutic. Cooking should be relaxing. 
And that's why we say start off simple. And she hasn't started off simple. And look at her, she's stressed. Yo, this is why I am really surprised that people do things that they've never done before. I would have practiced this meal. Leanne is calming herself down with one of her shots. Frankly, if I had the responsibility of six people for a dinner party, I wouldn't drink any alcohol at all. Looks like that drink is having more than a calming effect. It's all very odd, though. Hi. Hello. Hello. The first guests have arrived, Rudy and Dominic. How are you going? If you have a coat stand like that and you're having a dinner party, you throw it on I the would clear all of your things off those pegs and make that just for guests. You would. Cheers. Okay. Salute. Salute. There. I'm going to bring a little bit of Italian in there. <laughs> With spaghetti in the Thai food, Italy's covered. Hello. Hi. How are you? Next to arrive is Satsuko and Christine. Yeah. I'm move my birthday present over. You're in the back. wrong in there. There we go. Is that the greatest thing? No, it's not actually. It's not at all. The guests have just settled in, and the first appetizer is out on the table. I'm not sure if I clearly pointed it out. Uh, there's snacks going uh, to hold you over to the meal. It's uh, an active snack, though. It's carrot or bean A goes into dip B, and then is rolled in sesame seeds C, and then you eat. Okay. It's stuck in there, and I thought maybe I was looking for a toothpick, but I couldn't find one anywhere. So. Now, what would have been wrong with having these pre-dipped like this, and then you stick them up? That sauce is crap. Well, it's not a crap sauce. It just doesn't work it's with garbage. this, does it, is it? Nah, it's not good. Remove it from my table. I think after seeing the competition, um, we're definitely going to win. Now that looks to me very labor intensive. Is there a quicker way of doing it, a more well, efficient way of doing it? The, the trick would be to maybe do a larger pan. Yeah. Or two. Uh-huh. The other trick that I like to do when I deep fry things, you sprinkle a little bit of salt on them, and that's when things get even, you can get that crispy and that salt. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of frying when people are over. What do you think it smells like in that house? Shall I go around to the back door, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to tell you what it smells like. It's okay, we're just a couple minutes from being done, so. Sorry, I missed the relationship between the, the two of you. We are You're... best friends. Now well, that's good. We've known each other for 30 some odd years. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know, but Anthony was actually a peeping Tom at one point, so she's, she's a trained professional. We just like to entertain, especially at his house. Oh yeah, my place, we do a lot of entertaining. We do tons of entertaining. I hate to say this, you were right. It does smell like a chip shop in there. And the guests are at the table prepping for the fish and chips. No, we mean the first Thai course. Fried veggies and Balinese soup. This is uh, a Balinese vegetable soup. Long I story, I, I was in Bali for six hours because one of the people I was traveling with got deported back to Malaysia at the time. Again, this has been a lot of firsts for us because we, we're adventurous, we like to try new things, so. Let's see what the judges think about the Balinese soup. How do you eat something like this? This is watery. Well I don't it. like this soup. It's watery, and she's put the coconut in too soon. And what happens when you put coconut milk in soup too soon and you bring it back to a boil? It starts to curdle. It, it curdles. I thought this soup needed a little bit more salt, a little bit more flavor. Are the fried vegetables any better? Th these should be crisp. Yeah, look. They definitely deep fried them and they sat there for a while. You can taste the, the oil inside them. Looks like Leanne and Brian's adventures aren't paying off around the table. <laughs> Not trying to push the food? Anybody for extras? Everyone done? No, I'm good. Okay, I'll do a little soup bowl sweeping. A little bit. Hopefully, the main course will put some excitement into this adventure. Oh, look at this. What the hell is that? Too much cornstarch. Too much cornstarch, it's gonna taste starchy, and it's gonna get clumpy like that. Okay, what about the hosting? Everybody's glasses are all yeah, empty. Yeah, they are. And it needs the host, Brian, to go around constantly filling mm. up glasses. Mm. Mm. You know, people will say if they don't want any, always offer, offer, offer. Entertainment? I spent time in India, but I lived in Malaysia and Singapore for about two years. And I was going myself to South Africa. We've both been to Hawaii and France, Nairobi, Kenya, Antwerp, Italy, Europe, Rahima, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, in London, England. They've uh, seen this part of the world. They've seen that part of the world. Uh, 
I just find it like you're, you're bragging. Well, actually, that is them. That's what they're about. You know, traveling is their passion. Which brings us back to the food. Here's the main of Szechuan chicken, Thai chicken, and sesame noodles. That one was an experiment. I've made curries before. I've made noodle dishes before. The kung pao was, was kind of a new one for us. So, you know? Somebody else experimenting tonight is Dominic, using chopsticks for the first time. Mm -hmm. This is what I got to do? You're supposed to have this vice grip, right? The top. The lower one is fixed. Never moves. Oh, you've got it. You're right. in. Yeah, You're, you just put them in there, and then yep. there you go. It's a nice mm -hmm. sort of tanginess in the mouth. Yeah. Let's see what the judges think of the main. Szechuan chicken with Kung Pao sauce. That's a whole lot of raw garlic. Mm. All right, how about the sesame noodles in peanut sauce? Now, really, what should she have used? What she should have done is done maybe a nice rice noodle, a glass noodle, mm. something really simple. And this, again, tastes really starchy. Two for three. The Thai chicken? Closest thing to Thailand okay. we have so far. Saw this stuff on the kitchen door. The heat is nice, the coconut is nice, but it needs like a little bit of lime juice in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And just a little bit of, of, of mm -hmm. something salty. Perhaps the guests are more forgiving. I think it would be a failure because the food wasn't emulating what real Thai food is like. Yes, I'm hungry still right now. I could go for more food, maybe a, a veal sandwich. He wants a veal sandwich. I would love a veal sandwich right now. Clearly, Leanne and Brian's aforementioned hosting electricity... We are the personality defibrillator kits. ...has lost its charge. Guess Brian has reached his travel story limit. This dinner party now needs something to happen because the food has been so-so. We now need something to bring it together. I'm just expecting or looking forward to something between now and the end of the meal. Nope, it's just the meal. We said this whole dinner party depends on the food. Yeah. And the food has let it down and so we are left with nothing. Well, well maybe the dessert will liven things up. It just gives you a fruity after the Thai kick. Very nice, good contrast. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So here's the lemon mango fool. We have 10 minutes left for this dinner party. This dessert could do her a lot of favors. Mango puree. It tastes like a curdled smoothie. Oh it's... no. All right, see you at the next dinner party then. Well, thank you for having us. Thank, thank you. you. The three hours are up, and dinner party one is over. Let's see what Leanne and Brian's guests thought about their trip to Thailand. How was it for you? Oh. <laughs> so the food, not so good. I would say the food was mediocre. There was some activity that was lacking. I mean, uh, we like a good dinner and we also enjoy a good conversation, but at a dinner party, you know, it's party. It's day two, dinner party two. And our judges move in to see if Satsuko and Christine can better Leanne and Brian's attempt at Thai food with their theme of a tale of two cultures. Montreal and Japan inspire their menu with an appetizer of poutine a main of bento box style chicken nuggets, black cod, and seasonal vegetables. And for dessert, lemon squares, chocolate pudding, and banana cake. Yes. Nice. This is lovely. Thank you. Very nice. What are you going to cook for us? I'm, in fact, I'm hungry just thinking about this. We have a, a surprise little something before the main uh, box meal comes out, uh -huh. actually. I think I scared them. Oh, yeah. They're moving. Oh! <laughs> These are not killed and cooked. Yeah. No, 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 you kill them and eat them. Kill and eat them. Basically, kill them you while rip them. You're eating them. <laughs> you, you rip off their shell and you. You could even do it right now. Yeah. All right, okay. And they're delicious. It's yours. No, I, no, because you will do it for me. No, I'm a complete NIMBY. I'm a total hypocrite. I'm an ex vegetarian. 
And they had, don't eat the ugly stuff in their internal organs. Beautiful. When you do this, though, I and I think this is an amazing element of your dinner. I would love to see you have them brought in on a plate. Yes. With some sort of dome or cover on them, and you don't tell them what they're having. Okay. And then when they lift it up, they see them. Okay. This is the thing that everybody's going to remember. It's part of your dinner party. It's your wow factor. Don't shy away from it. And Corbin's right. It's all about the execution. Mm -hmm. It's how you do this. That is going to be so exciting. Oh my gosh, it's going to be great. It's hotting up. This is the, the war is hotting up, you know, because last time we got very excited and it sort of went a bit fizzle. flat. This won't fizzle. No. No, no. As Christine and Satsuko prep their complicated and ambitious dinner party and the judges settle in, it comes to light that Satsuko is more than just Christine's partner in the kitchen. In a cruel twist of fate, about a year and a half ago, I lost my sense of smell. So it means that I now have to cook based on my, my daughter or my family's sense of taste because I have very little sense of taste and no sense of smell. What a shame. That is pretty sad. And oh. I have to tell you, if I ever lost that. Well, that would be the end of your what, career, what, what would it? I do? I don't know, do you know, I'm racking my brains now to think that what other talent you have. I dislike seeing napkins stuffed in glasses. It would have been nice had, you know, because they have the talent, obviously, because they've, they've made the little birds here, if they'd have made something out of the napkins. The first guests, Leanne and Brian, arrive. Hi, how are you? Welcome. Come on in. Please come in. Perfect. Thank you. Let me take your wrap. Oh, I do like that. Straight away. Can I take your coat? I have somewhere to put it. It's just not going to get flung on a sofa. Hello. 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 Here's Rudy and Dominic. Hi, Hi. First stop is Christine and Satsuko's kitchen, which is doubling for a Montreal diner. This is a, a very low-key tribute to Montreal because we're from Montreal. This is good, you know. Everybody's talking. Nice atmosphere they've created. Right away, Christine is getting the first course ready to go. Homemade poutine with oven-baked fries, organic cheese, and gravy. I'm actually surprised she's doing it on paper plates and plastic spoons. No, 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 no. The classic way of eating poutine is with paper plate right. or a paper cone okay. and a plastic fork. That's the only way to do it. Oh. It's a little bit greasy spoon. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> greasy is good. Mm-hmm. Go? Dig in. This is damn fine. I think this is nectar. That's good. And have the guests been transported? The poutine was actually very delicious. I have to admit, it was very good. Um, probably one of the best that I've had. I think we spent enough time in Montreal, I think right? So. On this uh, culinary. Okay, where are we going to go now? Where are we flying off? We're, we're flying off. We're flying far. As everyone shifts into the dining room, Christine prepares tonight's big surprise. It's moving. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like uh, the sushi style? Oh, my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can touch it if you want. That's great. Okay. Yes, yes, that's... You don't expect me to eat this. You know how sometimes, Dominic, you're wondering, is the fish fresh? Are you crazy? <laughs> it is fresh. It's fresh. Yeah, it's splashing me too. It is sweet, it is fresh, it is delightful. Uh, you can either open your own, or we have taken some trouble to open a few for you so that you can... Oh, I do like that. Perfect. World traveler Brian is the first to give it a go. Ooh, but they are delicious. That was magnificent. They are tasty, aren't they? I just don't want to eat it out of there. Come on, Rudy. Rudy rises to the challenge. All right, Rudy. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy! Yeah. Mm. 
Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I don't try very many different foods. But you, but you did today. I did this, yes. <laughs> As an Italian, people do the killing for me. Is there a reason for doing it like this at the table, or is it part of the theater of eating? It's all about the freshness. It does not get any fresher. Yeah. And it is a delicacy. Mm. It's beautiful. No, thank you. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I have not a delicacy to Leanne. You kept telling me you've seen everything. Yeah, well, I haven't eaten everything. <laughs> <laughs> Dom tries one of the pre-killed prawns. <laughs> yeah, it's, but you were you were really good sport having Ooh. that. Yeah. Ooh. It's something different. Something different, that's for sure. Oh yeah, that's different, all right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, don't don't feel pressured to serve yeah. anything live, you guys, honest. <laughs> <laughs> the spot prawns have made a big splash with the guests. Rudy had to be goaded into it. Dominic clearly didn't enjoy it, and I didn't eat it. So how successful does a dinner party get when three quarters of the of the guests really wouldn't choose to eat the food? They did that as a piece of theater. That was dinner party theater. I'll have some more of this. Yeah. <laughs> and then Anybody else want to give me theirs? So. Dom rather likes the sake. Oh. The thing is, Nobody's told them you sip it. Okay. Can you get drunk on this? Oh, yes. Yes, oh, yes you can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> While Dom calms his nerves, Christine and Satsuko prepare the main. I'm not a chef at all. I just think I have an idea of how things should look. So if there's too much brown and the fish is going to be brown and the chicken is going to be brown, we need to have some sort of splash of color. So this is a young ginger shoot marinated. Food is on the table. Oh my God, those are gorgeous. The presentation is perfect. That's magazine photography ready. Have you tried the fish? I know, I just want to see if it's gonna <laughs> if it's, <laughs> it's cooked. You don't eat the skin, right? We eat it. It's optional. You don't have to eat it, but the skin is delicious if you eat skin. Very good. The presentation has the judges salivating for Christine and Satsuko's bento boxes of chicken nuggets, black cod, and seasonal vegetables. All right. Chicken. This is their chicken nuggets. Mm. Unbelievable. Mm. Okay, fish. Cut. You're not gonna like that. <laughs> no, but you want. Mm -hmm. This is cooked to perfection. It's moist. It's sweet. Yeah. Mm. It's got the. Oh. It's everything that it needs to be. Mm. Good. All good. The fish was good. They did warn us that some people delicacy with the sea, uh, the skin is very fatty. Uh, that not so much. The fish itself was fantastic. Looks like the spot prawns aren't the only surprise. Okay, so we're gonna go down some ping pong if you'd like to follow me oh this is gonna be great all downstairs for ping pong i love it you, you guys keep it too much pressure okay oh Whoa. one point for you yeah i'm just pressure. trying to hit you oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what they've done here it's not just about playing ping pong this is about bringing people into their lives they have painted a picture of what they're like as a family and i feel i know so much more about them whereas actually i don't know any more about brian and leanne I think my party flowed better. I'm finding it very, very structured. So it almost seems like there's a script that's not quite down to the minute, but I'm finding the, the rigidity of it um, a bit difficult at times. It's chase you down to the basement to do a game like a ping pong as against just sitting there and enjoying a meal is, it's a childish type. Yeah, it's, it's, it's more what I do with young kids than a full adults. Yeah, but your party was boring. You didn't do anything. Back from ping pong, the games continue between Dom and Leanne. Is that you again? Help. Leave my leg alone, alone. Leanne. Ooh. What's going on here? From footsies, back to food. So it's a banana cake with cream cheese icing, and this is an old-fashioned chocolate pudding, and then a very tart lemon bars. Mm. Wow. For somebody with no taste buds. She can cook for me anytime. The chocolate pudding was good. Was good. Was the good. lemon tart was good. Mm -hmm. But this, but this cake. banana cake is oh, freaking oh, oh. awesome. We, we'd like to thank you all for being such good sports about the, the strange dinner that you may have had tonight. So we'd like to leave you with the usual traditional 
Let's go and Chris. Loot Valueless bag. Loot, loot bags and parting gifts. Beautiful. Uh, I love them. That was a well structured dinner party. That was yeah. unbelievable. Were the guests as blown away as the judges? Thank you. It was interesting. You know, good. There was a lot of foot rubbing underneath the table. Yeah, you, you kept talking about that, but. You know, and, and I said by the end of the night, maybe by the end of our next dinner, I'm going to have those two split up. Which two are you referring Brian to? Brian and Leanne. Oh, yeah. Were you really rubbing his leg? No. Because he's convinced. <laughs> I yeah. know. He is convinced. <laughs> you know when guys do that dumb thing and they're sort of, they're all chatty? Yeah, 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 you they do. don't expect you to take them up on it. No. You could so maybe, really throw him during the cooking process oh, yeah, you if you start to make like a pull. like uber sexy, something tight, yeah, something low-cut. They're, okay. they're so cocky. They really, I mean, we need somebody who's going to gonna shake throw it. them. Yeah. Yeah. Day three, dinner party three, and our judges are now traveling to Italy with Dominic and Rudy. These two old friends hope to win with their Calabrese menu, starting with homemade antipasto of tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, and salami, authentic bruschetta, and spaghetti with breadcrumbs, a main of chicken parmesan, and grilled vegetables. And for dessert, gelato ice cream and berries. Here's some roasted peppers. Yeah. This one here, I just made last week. Is that good? It's, it's got a little bit of a kick how sometimes. We how do we how do we know you made this? My mama taught me well. That's our homemade sauce. Now you can clean this up. Mm. Homemade sauce. That's homemade. Did you make the, 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 ice, the ice cream? cream. No, no, we did not we make the ice cream. Make the ice cream. We bought yeah, actually Italian ice cream. I think that there's an opportunity for you to be a little bit more authentic with your desserts. Not a problem. You got a couple of ideas? Yeah, the granita with your crushed ice. Okay. Some lemon. So I'll throw some lemon inside. Okay, I can do that. I can blend it up like I'm making a, ma a margarita. Okay. And did you buy the flowers? Yeah, we did. But we're trying to figure out how to perk these babies up. You know, we can up. perk them up. A little bit later, I'll help you okay. perk those up. I think Ooh. I can do something with those. I like that. I'll see what I can do for you. <laughs> Oh, they, they are funny. They're a pair of comedians. Have they got enough going on, though, to win it? I'm worried that food isn't going to be enough to, to do it. Because no, we, we had theatre, didn't we? With we had live so... shrimp. Yeah, we, we were... killed them. We ate them. We ate them raw. <sighs> we need something raw in this dinner. Raw. Clean some garlic for us, huh? Before the guests arrive, Rudy and Dominic are getting their appetizers ready, including the homemade salami preserved for two years in vegetable oil. This is gold to an Italian. They're gonna eat tonight. They're gonna eat, that's for sure. And I know they're gonna enjoy it. They're not gonna be starving. Like we were the last two dinner parties. <laughs> Cameras and judges are prepped to take in our last dinner party. Have they, oh look, you see? They've pinged up. What I did to those roses is that I cut the stems up the middle so that they take in more water. I put them in some ice cold water. And then in the water that they are standing in now, I put a spoonful of sugar. Really? Roses have a very sweet tooth. They like sugar. I think we're going to do pretty good. Uh, again, not I think you're going to do pretty good. <laughs> we are going to do pretty good, OK? We are going to do pretty we're good. We're going to do very good. You can't go wrong with a home-cooked Italian meal. That is my philosophy. I've dealt with that for 50-some-odd years, and that's what I'm sticking by. And? Good because, friends. Because we're cooking it. That's why. So you think they're going to win tonight? You think they're going to pull it off? Bring you know, the, they, uh, I mean, they could. The Italian stallions they come charging out. They could do it. These two jokers could do it. And the first guests are here, Satsuko and Christine. Come in, have a Thank seat. Thank you, This is our home. We thought you'd have wine as we wanted to mm -hmm. get you something that we hope the two of you will like. Oh, please let that be sake, please. Okay. Somebody was complaining mm -hmm. about, about chops. Oh, oh chopsticks. We, we got you some. I love it. Oh, chopsticks. <laughs> it was. Hey, a, it, Leanne and Brian are here. Hello. Oh, you look sexy tonight. Thank you. Leanne has taken Corbin and Anthea's tip to knock Dom off his game to heart. Hey, Joe, buddy. How are you? How are you? She looks beautiful. Dominic was trying to put Leanne off her game by making all the under-the-table footsie comments, so Leanne said, all right, you know, fair is fair and, and love and war. So she brought out the, uh, the big guns tonight to see if she could put Dominic off his game. Dom's game seems okay. 
Rudy and I, we have a massive family and tons of friends. And we'd like to join you guys into our family and our group of friends. Our little circle. Yeah, Salute. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Welcome. They're great hosts. Yeah, Rudy, help me. Dom and Rudy waste no time bringing their guests into the kitchen to start off with some homemade antipasta. This is green tomato, uh -huh. roasted pepper, mm -hmm. eggplant. So you may sit down and enjoy. Very nice. As long as I get to sit across from you, Dominic, I'm fine. Oh. See, I told you she likes me better. <laughs> I think if you have this kitchen setup that they have, it's a lovely way of starting a dinner party off. And it's nice and it's informal. And it means you've got less time sitting at a dining table. There's always uh, something else that we prepare that I don't very often serve. Ah. Is my homemade salami. Oh, bring that on. The food so far, the, the appetizers, it was okay. You know, it, it was simple, it was easy, but it wasn't it wasn't a step up. So they still have to work a bit more on the food um, and keep the evening at a high pace, I think. And what do the judges think of Rudy and Dom's homemade antipasta? I'm going straight for the dried meat. Mm. It's got a little spice. Mm. It's good. Mm. Very nice. Mm. 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 It's delicious. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. It's very hot in here. Are you okay, Dom? Oh, thanks, Rudy. It may be hot in the kitchen now, but it's about to get even hotter when Rudy whips out his chicken. Since you had me uh, kill my meal, I thought I'd return the favor for you. This is Charlie. Oh, look what they've done! We're gonna cut the head off. You're serious, right? We're serious. Okay. So you're gonna grab its head just like okay. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. She's just wearing like a that. one of a kind shirt. No, it's yeah. okay. Don't worry, worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. We're gonna grab the head right here. <laughs> no, no, no. Trust me. We want blood. To They're all kidding, aren't they? Yeah, no, this is for real. Small hands. Okay, ready? Big. Watch your fingers. Watch your fingers. Open your eyes. Careful. Ready? Okay, listen, Charlie, it's been nice knowing you. Charlie, <laughs> unfortunately, Charlie Nothing personal. is my favorite pet of the house, and I'm not going to get rid of her today because she's my sweetheart. Oh. Uh, you wanted me to kill the well, poor? No, we're, no, we're not, not savages. Not really. This is my sweetheart, eh? Oh, that was funny. Well, we said they're going to have to step it up. We said theatre, we this said is... entertainment. Are you aiming to entertain 30, 40, and 50-year-olds at a dinner party, or are you aiming to keep 16-year-olds laughing at a birthday party with, you know, live animals? Rudy and Dominic, you guys are chickens for not killing your chicken. We're going to go have a seat in the dining room. We're going to have right. our pasta. It's time for Rudy and Dom's next appetizer, pasta with breadcrumbs. This looks gorgeous, this does. Nice and simple. Yeah. These two, they are a good team together, aren't they? Oh, yeah. They, you know, you can tell that they've done this on umpteen occasions. Mushroom oil, some other things? Yeah, but this is with breadcrumb. Yeah. yeah. Ah. And just plain breadcrumb. Delicious, Rudy. That's a beautiful bundle you've created. Is it good? Very really nice, huh? I think what I'd like to see in here is maybe a little bit more spice. Uh huh. But I think they've tamed it down for their guests. Does that look good or what? Mm. So it's got fire department. I'm your Japanese fan. Brian and Leanne take the fire alarm distraction as an opportunity to sneak the judges a bribe. We made homemade pierogies yesterday, and so we thought we'd uh, bring some in and improve our chances a bit. You don't really want to do anything else now. You just want to sit and eat these, don't you? No. Why the hell they didn't serve these oh. the first night? I know. It's beyond me. Ooh, these are hot. They're very hot. So now the stakes are higher for Rudy and Dom's chicken parmesan. Okay. Wonderful. I'm not entirely sure. Rudy, you did a fantastic job. I feel the uh, belt, the restraint of the belt. Getting getting tighter and tighter. Buy the elastic I jeans. I know. What was I thinking? I Your chicken is very tender. What did you do? Did you massage him? Like did you talk to him? Colby chicken? What do the judges think? Ah! <laughs> Jeez. It's moist, I can tell already. It is so easy. 
for these vegetables. And then oh, we've got wow. overcooked them and they've all collapsed. And mm. Really, really nice. I'm... Really simple. Yeah. It just needs more salt, that's all. Sauce, perfect amount of sauce. It's not dry. Mm -hmm. The chicken parmesan tonight, nice, not outstanding. I still think on experimental, we've got it with our food. What? Well, whose Thai noodles did he what? have? What? If he thinks his Thai noodles were the oh. best of the week, oh. he and I need to go to a few restaurants. They've only got half an hour left now, so I don't think anything else as far as theatrics are going to happen, but we've got to have dessert, which is going to be interesting because... See if they did it. Well, I'm going to try something I've never done. Uh, let's try, maybe... Uh, I think that's good, let's try that. This is going to be very sweet. Why is he sugaring those when they're probably already quite... Because now he's going to throw the booze in. Oh, this looks so good. I gotta give them points for trying, because they aren't just serving the ice cream that, you know. Yeah. We did say do something different, why don't we, and they came up with this, we thought yeah. it was a good idea. <laughs> Ooh, it's still setting. Hits the palate, it's interesting. Mm. It's sure different. <laughs> it's overpowering, I guess. It is a little bit. I like lemon chai. It's nice, what nice. Do you think? Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's refreshing. A... I think it's just, I'm just gonna drink it. There's a lot of booze in here. Wow. You know what? That's pretty good, actually. I wouldn't call it dessert. I'd drink this on a hot summer day. What they should have done was made the ice before, mm. have it in the freezer, scoop it out, put it in a cold glass, and then put the stewed berries on top. A little colon. And as the party comes to a close. Colin, you call this cool of pasta? Okay. A bit of pasta and some serviettes. Oh, that's very oh, that's Thank you very There you go. Much. Oh, this is a nice touch. Look. Yeah, now they're going to give away some yeah. gifts. However, How cute is that? It has been a successful party. Of course it has. Food, pretty solid. Oh, solid food, but we Classic always... Southern Italian. But we've got to go and judge and we've got to make one of them the winner. This is the final judgment. Only one couple can win $1,000 worth of cooking equipment, and more importantly, the honor of being crowned tonight dinner party war champion. Brian and Leanne, you had the first dinner party. Mm -hmm. Before we give you your scores, let's see what your guests thought. I think it would be a failure because the food wasn't emulating what real Thai food is like. I'm hungry still right now. They've done everything. They've flown everywhere. I just find it like you're, you're bragging. Well, you guys took a risk with your food. Mm -hmm. Now your soup it was a bit watery. Main course, very unimpressive, unfortunately. I just wish you wouldn't have taken such a big leap and really stuck to your comfort style of cooking because today you brought us pierogies and I have to tell you, they were unbelievable. You winged it and I think that was completely and utterly your undoing. And you can't wing it. Our next dinner party, Christina and Satsuko, would you like to see what your guests thought of your dinner party. I'm finding it very, very structured, so it almost seems like there's a script that's not quite down to the minute. I ate that gooey, slimy crap, and I just had to have a chaser with it. It's chase you down to the basement to do a game like a ping pong. It's more what I do with young kids than a full adults. Well, let's talk about your food. The spot prawns were delicious. You took something very seasonal, very short season, something so fresh, and you served it to your guests. Yes, for some of you it was a little different and it was something unnecessary. Main course, the black cod, cooked to perfection. That skin, unbelievable. Congratulations on your food. The way actually you paced the whole evening was perfection. It wasn't appreciated by all and I have to take that into consideration. Gentlemen, Dominic and Rudy, are you interested in seeing what your guests thought? Sure, absolutely. Rudy and Dominic, you guys are chickens for not killing your chicken. The appetizer wasn't quite as robust as it should have been. We did aim for more of a, an adult dinner party on ours. And tonight, you know, we got live chicken dances in, in the kitchen. Well, let's talk about your food. Very solid. But you really showcased your talent on making food from scratch. The bruschetta, very good. Your main course. Nothing completely out of the ordinary, but well executed. I love the chicken. You made me laugh. 
You shone, I think, when you were standing in your kitchen and you were talking about your food. I think that's when we actually felt that your passion for food really came to the forefront. I have to say that when you got to the table, we lost a little bit of that. Well, now you've heard everything that we have to say about your dinner parties. Now we're going to give you our scores. Brian and Leanne, points for taking a risk. I have to tell you, you did a solid effort. Six out of 10 on food. I think you needed more. I'm going to give you for presentation and execution also six out of 10. So that makes a grand total of 12 for Brian and Leanne. Rudy and Dom, great traditional Italian meal. Your score is seven out of 10. You're a great couple. You're like an old married couple. I'd sit at your table any night. I'm going to give you eight out of 10, which gives you a total score 15 out of 20. Rudy and Dominic's score of 15 knocks Leanne and Brian out of the running. Christine and Sesco, your food, well executed, very tasty. I'm gonna give you a total score out of 10, eight on food. Christine and Satsuko's scripted party needs at least an eight to beat Rudy and Dom's laid back Italian night. What does Anthea think? You're a slick team. For me, you get nine out of 10. Which means your total score is 17 out of 20. Which means Christina Sesco, you won! That's it for this episode. Join us next time when three more teams battle it out on Dinner Party Wars. Everybody enjoyed our food? We're I'm good. not hungry. We're good with that. Give us a do-over and we could win this. Yep. A little part of me in the back of my head knew that we had it. <laughs>